when I went to school at Roosevelt uh, in the 60s. We were always proud that we were from one of the top high schools in the Portland area. Families were tight and you knew all your neighbors. There was a sense of ownership. There was a sense of belonging. There was a sense of community. We've lost that. The death of 17-year-old Joseph Ray Ray Winston has left various neighborhood organizations intensifying their efforts to find solution to the gang problem. The Crips and the Bloods come up from Los Angeles in the 80s looking for a toehold in Portland. Um, it's the Roosevelt neighborhood they end up in. To be a, a kid out here is hard. They fight, they shoot at each other, they set your car on fire. We're talking about our children, which are our future. There's no reason why that neighborhood couldn't be revitalized if it could build up around a quality high school. The original idea was simply like a one-day cleanup day. They painted, they cleaned all our furniture, cleaned our walls. The building looked amazing. A punch list of what would have taken them probably three years was done in about four hours. That business of South Lake Church having an office in a public school, I don't think has ever happened in history. I just kind of felt an urge that I need to go help. He's thinking he's going to walk in, he's going to be this NFL quarterback. I told him, Neil, they're not going to care who you are until they know you care about them. When it was cold outside in the winter, a lot of people didn't have coats. I didn't. And there was a situation where a child had gone two days without eating. My vision and my goal here is to love these families to embrace their problems and recognize the fact that these people need help. You know, it's not about coaching there, see? It's about mentoring and being a father and being a brother. They have specific needs that our resources could meet. The power of it is when we do it together. If there's a way to continue this, I want to be a part of it. A success story that everybody can look at, how good things can be. They don't need people judging them. They don't need people pointing fingers. They need people to love them.